Today, I want to talk about a little bit of controversial move in Pokemon singles history, and that is Baton Pass. So, I was inspired to make this video after seeing a Gen 5 OU video in which I saw there was a Baton Pass clause, basically saying you cannot Baton Pass with stat changes. And I was looking through the forums, seeing like, why is this the case? Um, surprise, surprise, Finchinator headed the movement, it seems. Um, at least that's what I think, uh, basing off this post. Um, a baton pass in black and white OU discussion post. So, basically just talking about how it's uncompetitive, quote unquote. Um, free setup turns, and then you pass them, and yeah, it's like, oh my god, like the passer just sweeps, and whatever. And so, they ended up, um, at the end of the year, uh, they ended up restricting baton pass to only being used on pokemon that cannot boost their stats and that's beholden to moves items and abilities literally even absorb bulb is like on this list right so this is a complex ban obviously and smogon has a history of not liking to do complex bans because they are as the name implies complex they create confusion in the player base um there it's just easier and simpler to just ban something outright and, you know if a pokemon uh loses viability then you know so be it whatever that's why libero never got banned instead of Cinderachi, or part of the reason i mean that's it's part of it but so what 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 am i what am i getting at here you guys can probably see where i'm going with this can we just do the same for like Gen 9? I don't think mods would be on board with this because Baton Pass has been used in the generation already. So there's some precedent for it to stick around. It's already been used as a pivot move. So there's a reason to keep it. And whereas now you would be unbanning it, but in a complex way. So it's just very confusing. Um, I mean, I'm not confused because uh, I'm a diehard Pokemon player. But, you know, for the casual, maybe not. So, what am I proposing here? I do want to explore what would happen if Baton Pass got complexly unbanned. And so that way, it would get unbanned. You could use it in a dry sense. And there are some Pokemon that benefit from this. There is a reason I want to do this. Because there are some Pokemon that have Baton Pass in their kit that don't get to use it. And they really could utilize it. So, starting off, Hattering. Hatterene is a fantastic Pokemon. It is able to set up Trick Room, or it can be a Calm Mind Sweeper, yada, yada, yada. But a move that it doesn't get to utilize is Baton Pass. Now, Hatterene is an excellent Trick Room setter because it has a 29 speed stat, has decent defensive prowess, it's got a good special attack stat, so you don't need to invest in it in order to utilize it. Great Trick Room setter. It also has Magic Bounce, which means that you can't set up hazards against it, so it's great to lead with. Or, you know, if you anticipate your opponent lead setting hazards, you can switch into it. So, what's the problem though? Can't use Baton Pass. Why? Because it's banned. And the problem is, Hatterene's next best option for a pivot move is freaking Healing Wish. So, you have to kill yourself in order to let your, baton, your uh, Trick Room Sweeper come in and win the day. So, obviously a problem. How do we fix it? Baton Pass. Baton Pass would allow it. I That means it's still slow as hell, though, which is a problem because Baton Pass, you know, Hatterene's very slow, and you usually want the Trick Room Sweeper to come in last. So you could put a, you could put a Lagging Tail on it. I, I've seen people do that with, like, Slow King um, and Chili Reception. So that that is one concern. But it would allow Hatterene. Hatterene has enough bulk that I could set up Trick Rooms more than once, at least, and instead of just healing wishing. Also, I've seen Hatterene have eject button that obviously makes it very vulnerable when setting up Trick Room. Then that just makes it a pivot Pokemon with Trick Room, which uh, it's not terrible, but you know, you know why why not just allow it to use Batal Pass, right? Um, that's, that's my final synopsis on that. I mean, Healing Wish has gone buff that you can pocket Healing Wishes, which is nice, but still, Baton Pass would drastically help Hatterene with getting the trick room sweepers in safely or you know yeah yeah safely yeah yeah okay sorry 
next 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 so cinderace dragapult and zapdos don't really care about it right u-turn u-turn and uh oh my gosh what what is your move called volt switch and also u-turn aloma mola though is huge and let me let's okay first of all u-turn u-turn apparently quay has u-turn but apparently it's getting flipped turn uh u-turn screen tail we'll also talk about but screen tail is the same reason as aloma mola so we don't really need to talk about screen tail so aloma whatever how do you i don't know how the hell you pronounce his name great pokemon great set right here heavy duty boots regenerator you know you get your you get hp recovered whenever you switch out so and i've already checked this thing is not apparently getting flip turn when the dlc comes out so what does this thing run this usually runs some like whirlpool um protect or eh, wish protect and then some other coverage move or something like uh i don't even know i don't even know maybe like chilling water right who cares who cares about these moves? what matters is it has wish protect well here's the thing aloma does not have a pivot move yet it has this 165 hp stat huge hp stat over 500 when fully invested that is a ton of hp recovering i mean some pokemon that would literally bring them back from a focus sash like it's insane the problem with the Malola is it can't use baton pass which is an amazing pivot move it has a slow speed stat it's not being used on um it's not being used on a, oh my gosh what what trick room it's not you being used on trick room, right so like this would be an incredible move for it i don't believe wish is included in the list if it's not it's not listed in things because it's not you know but wish doesn't work with baton pass like that so as much as i hate stall baton pass would be a huge tool for aloma momola did i pronounce it right there let's go dude uh, especially with the 64 pp with regenerator with the 64 pp it would be an amazing move for it to have it would make wish passing so much easier you get to use regenerator as well you get to bring in the wish recipient safely it would be a fantastic move for a loma molas kit it'd be fantastic um because it doesn't have any other pivot moves i think a loma mola might be the biggest winner if baton pass were to get un or complexly unbanned let's see what other Pokemon would benefit from this? Again, none of these guys would because they already have pivot moves. Screamtail would benefit for the exact same reason as a Mola. It's a 115 HP stat. The only problem is Screamtail is very fast. So, of, of course, that speed stat would help it on Trick Room, though, because Screamtail does set Trick Room sometimes. So, you know, you'd get a, a efficient, a, if effectively a slow baton pass. I'm doing like air with me. Halucha, I believe Halucha has U-turn, so I don't think it benefit much from it. And Halucha is always used as a burden sweeper anyway, most of the time. So Halucha wouldn't really get much from that. Uh, Mew also is U-turn. Poltegeist, not really, because you're never going to switch out with Poltegeist. Also, then you could, you only would be able to run Curse Body with Poltegeist, which isn't a bad ability. It's just very inferior to weak body. Um as a u-turn i think you have u-turn right you have u-turn yeah you do have u-turn okay but one pokemon did catch my eye while i was going through this and that's the other trick room setter in dionce so dionce has amazing defensive stats um as at 150 150 a horrible hp set but that's forgivable it has access to body press now which it did last gen too, but you know, now it's now it's epic. Um, you have Diamond Storm, um, and you have Baton Pass and Trick Room. So the only problem with Dionce is you could not run Diamond Storm if you were gonna run Baton Pass. That's like the big issue. So you probably run some stupid like Encore or some shit. The good news is with Dionce, the unique thing about it is Dionce is clear body, and clear body should not be abandoned the abilities. It's not. So Clear body means that you can't have your stat stages lowered, which is awesome because that means your baton pass is always going to be in the positive because you can't pass negative stat changes. So I, I think that's just a unique interaction with Dionysus baton passing. Um, and also that has trick room, same reasons we talked about with Hatterene, right? Um, Florges, Florges does not have a pivot move right now. It would help it out a lot. Um, yeah that's that's about all i can say about that also floor just has wish passing but like 
I believe that's Wishmaster. Yeah, but it's HP stats like nothing to write home about. So that's kind of uh, whatever. But still would help it. Just don't have a pivot move. Grafaii, nothing really. I think Pawmot does not have a pivot move. Actually, it probably is Volt Switch. What the hell am I talking about? Yeah. <laughs> it's an electric type. Of course, it is Volt Switch. So, um, okay. The Evolution. So, sil most notably, uh, Sylveon and Umbreon, right? Sylveon and then Umbreon here. Um, these two have good HP stats. And they know Wish. The problem is, um, they don't have a pivoting move. How do you fix that? They have a slow speed set. They could utilize a pivot move and give a baton pass. I mean, it's really that simple. Baton pass would help it out a ton. Give us some, uh, allow it to wish pass safely to the next Pokemon in line. Um, yeah, uh, Sylveon also is just good Pokemon in general, but it just can't wish pass on defensive sets. Vaporeon, I don't bring up as much because apparently Vaporeon is getting flip turned back. So Vaporeon doesn't have the same issues as the other guys. But, um, yeah, the Vaporeon would still benefit from it for the next two days, as long as the flip turn leak is accurate. So, Tatsugiri could get it. Obviously, I don't think Tatsugiri has a, a pivot move right now. Yeah, it does not. Only problem is you would be forced to run Commander, which Tatsugiri runs Commander right now. I think Gardevoir is still in the tier, right? Yeah, Gardevoir is still in the tier. So, a weird thing about... Tatsugiri is it actually runs commander over storm drain because it doesn't want uh Gardevoir to come in and copy storm drain and then surf just gets fully walled and then you get fully walled by Gardevoir if that's the case so you actually run commander on Tatsugiri at least that's how it used to be um yeah let's see any other baton passes that would really be like a big useful one I'm trying to look Ferrigiraf would help with his baton passing as it also has trick room same reason as the other ones same thing for Hatrim for the same reason as Hatterene um do, 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 do. uh Mesper has U-turn you have U-turn you have U-turn you probably have U-turn but also I don't know how much Toxic Croak would really benefit from oh it doesn't okay so Toxic Croak would benefit from having baton pass um then again I don't think it'd really be that good of a baton passer personally because i don't think it really wants to pivot that much but you know it's not a pokemon that would benefit from it so what is my point with oh mask yeah mask what the hell am i talking about so um you know dash buns but dash buns would have to run aurora veil then or aroma veil which is a horrible ability so what is my point with all this there aren't that many baton passers right there really aren't but I think it's silly that it's banned at least as a pivot move. I think that's what's silly about it. Because it's as simply as a pivot, you're, it, uh, Pokemon are unfairly taking this tool away from them because of the passing stat changes and more effect of it. But some Pokemon really, really, really would love to have a pivot move. And I feel like because of this passing stat changes and more, they're take they, they they lose this pivot option, and they lose part of their kit that they're supposed to have, right? And I understand banning it for the passing stat changes and more because that 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 shit snowballs so quickly. I mean, you see it in every AG um, clickbait video where they try to swoop match a card, right? Um, but. I don't know. I think just, I, I, I don't, I, I wish they would take the same approach as they did in black and white OU and just banning it for the stat change part because Pokemon are missing out on a huge part of their kit without baton pass. And I, I know, it, I know maybe I'm splitting hairs here being like, Oh, can be easier for 502. It's just one move. Like, just let it go. I'm not going to let it go, man. This is a, this is a, a ba outright banning an entire move for half of the, for like half of the move. The move is banned because of half of the move, right? It's not, it's not the, because it's not the user switching part or else U-turn would be banned, right? And I mean, U-turn is already omnipresent enough. So I just feel like it's silly to ban it in, in its entirety. That's, that's what I'm really getting at here. I think some Pokemon would really benefit from having it in their kit. And I, I hope that the OU Council 
Especially because Finchinator is a part of the OU Council in Scarlet and Violet. I really hope they retake a look at this and maybe revise it. I know, I know y'all don't like the complex bands, but if you heard me out, maybe you'll change your mind. So, well, what are your guys' thoughts though? Leave them down in the comments below. What do you think of Baton Pass? Am I overreacting? Is Baton Pass going to make zero difference if it were to be unbanned? Um, let me know. And thank you all very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Um, DLC comes out in two days. And apparently there's a whole move relearner thing. But I'm even scared to show that because I got copyright struck by Nintendo once already for Blood Moon or Saluna. So, <laughs> we'll talk about it after everything drops. So, peace out.